Do you want early access? Do you want uncut reactions? If so, then check out our Patreon. Link in the description down below. When uh, last we left our heroes, or our slime, he had devoured... Uh, he ate a lady. Yes, and apparently he... No, that's not an innuendo. No, it... It's not a euphemism. Did he, he eat a lady or did he eat a lady's corpse? Is that cannibalism? Is that like some no, he, offshoot of cannibalism? Well, technically he's not human, so he cannot be... <laughs> he, he was. Can, he, well, he was, but he's not <laughs> anymore. Slimes typically devour what is dead. I mean, they're usually scavengers. I mean, whenever an animal dies, usually on a map, you know, you find slime. They're scavenging, like, for nutrients and stuff like that. A lot of times in Dungeons and Dragons, it's almost like... They're the fish that sit at the bottom of the sea, just camouflaged. Yeah. They wait for a fish to swim along, and they're like... Except for they don't even have to do the... Because people just walk into them because they don't realize they're there. Yeah. And they're kind of fucked. <laughs> and slimes... It's like, uh, literally, like, there's a slime that... I Like, I think I've told you this before, the gelatinous cube. Yes. It can literally just be in a square room because it's hard to see. Like, you can just walk into it, and then you're being digested. Yeah. <laughs> without realizing it. It's pretty <laughs> crazy. Overall, the uh, like the the whole deal with Rimuru doing what he did uh, with Shizu, Shizu asked him to do that. That's the other thing. Mm. Rimuru did that, and he gained a human form. But, yeah, we have this episode here. Uh, this one is called Attack of the Ogres. Let's see what they got. Yes, Oh. I forgot the clothes. Yeah, dude. You may need that. Oh. Oh, yeah. <笑>いや、生物がない。作った黒切りで補います。ああ。ってことは大人の姿も作れるってことか。おお。なかなかイケメンじゃないか。ストップ、ストップ、モドレ。なかなかイケメンじゃないか。ストップ、ストップ、モ
Stand up to Ifrit, a literal, like, gigantic fire spirit. Like he's, it's like Vegeta. Even when he's like, like arms are broken and everything, he's just like, I can still fight. After they get names. <laughs> oh, Jesus. They all already look pretty cool. <laughs> oh, yeah. No doubt. I mean, ogres traditionally are considered some of the more powerful creatures, especially in, like, Japanese, like, oni lore and all that. They're traditionally, like, seen as... Uh, well, th they're different here because they're seen as very brutish. You know, no... Uh, no real room to talk or anything like that. But yeah, these are these are some pretty kick ass looking orcs or ogres and I uh and I was gonna say they mentioned that uh one of my favorites is the ogress from the uh... Ooh, that looks cool. <laughs> that looks super cool. Yeah. But there's like the regular ogres that are really buff and brutish. For yes. Sure. Yes. And also uh, well, that's an ogre in, like, the Japanese uh, style, whereas the more European style, they're more like trolls. Mm. They're, you know, like Shrek. Shrek is an ogre, technically. Yeah. But calling him an ogre and calling uh, the uh, the ogres that we have in the show are... It's like that's uh, the typical fantasy style ogre, yeah, I think. Yeah, typical, of. like, Western fantasy style, whereas... Which can be Eastern, kind of like... Interlocked and uh, switched with um, shoot, what's the, with trolls, like yes. depending. It's like the trolls from like uh, certain things are kind of like ogres as well. Yes, they can go back and forth. 
like and, a rock troll. It's like one yeah, of there's variants. Like, you know, there's rock trolls, there's river trolls, there's mountain trolls. So I've never been able to entirely figure out like when and where the actual difference between trolls and ogres actually lies, except whenever the trolls end up being like more like a little like, you know, more like a. I think it's an intelligence thing. I think trolls. The word for it. I think trolls are not as intelligent and are not as organized, whereas. Ogres uh, tend to actually organize to a certain level in well, a lot like of... like the bridge troll that eats the billy goats. Yes. And stuff like that. Yeah. They... And, and, the, and you see, that's that's the thing with uh, interpreting different <coughs> different styles of fantasy. Because, you know, we, we have Eastern-inspired ones here, but also, you know, the dwarves in this are very Western-inspired. So they're... Sort yeah, of picking and choosing which ones are... also the little figures with, like, the poofy hair. <laughs> Trolls, you know? Oh, yeah! The troll, like, uh... Yeah! Kid, the... Kids' toys figures or whatever. Uh, yeah, like the little... Uh, I forget what the brand... Which they, in my opinion, look closer to what fantasy always would call a gnome, you know? Yeah. Or a fairy, maybe. Like... A fae, Not yeah. really, though, but yeah. More like gnomes than anything else. But, yeah, this, uh... The the world keeps expanding because we've we've had or or we've had goblins we've had humans we've had uh, we've had demons dire wolves. we've had dire wolves we've had uh, uh, dwarves mm-hmm. now we're getting ogres and they mentioned orcs as well mm-hmm. we had the one orc at the end of the previous episode that got. Yeah, a they name got named. in the desert. I have a feeling he's probably going to come into play next episode because they did mention something about orcs just for a second there in this episode. Yeah. So, so most likely he that him in the desert was probably a while ago, and he was like, in the future you'll take over that forest and become the orc disaster. And I'm wondering if he's the evil Majin or whatever, you know? Yeah, maybe he is. I mean, God, did it! I love, I love how they're incorporating all this stuff in, and they're bringing it in at a pretty brisk pace. And they're not—it's not like they're just stuffing it down our throats. Instead, they're letting it expand naturally. Like this whole episode was dedicated to basically uh, getting to uh, like just stop the fighting between the ogres and the goblins. So yeah, so this this was a great episode. I like this a lot. So, it's very interesting because this is kind of a show that's remaining unpredictable in terms of where it goes each episode, you know? Yes. Which is cool because, like, a lot of times with these kind of shows, I'll be like, yeah, it'll probably be this, and then this will happen next, and then it'll go to this next, and eventually they're going to do this. But, like, they're really just kind of in a fantasy world doing whatever things that kind of just... It's almost like a D&D campaign to an extent, you know? It's yeah. Like, today this happens, and how do you deal with this, you know? Yes. God. Except for you only got, like, one player, and he's super overpowered. <laughs> yes. Although he's still learning. Yeah. He, he's still learning about the world and about himself. Oh, it's basically like he already essentially has the tools to deal with most any situation. He just continues to gather more tools so that he can deal with situations and, like more efficient and, like, uh, the best, like, uh, outcomes he can manage, you know? Yeah, true. Oh. It's like, because he literally already has the tools to just wipe everybody off the face of the planet, but he's playing, no he's playing a pacifist run, so he's trying his best not to hurt anybody that he doesn't have to and stuff, you know? Yeah, true. It's like the dire wolf uh, leader and a couple of, like non-sentient monsters or were like the only things he's really actually killed so far. Uh, for the most part, he's like, if this seems like someone I could talk to, let's see if I can talk things out. Like, yeah, see if we can <laughs> see if we can hash things so out. In a way, he's giving himself a challenge because he could theoretically just smite everybody. But Yeah, like, just black lightning. It's more of a challenge just, just for him to actually see how many people he can become friends with in this world than just go around using his powers to smite everything. Yeah. Well, all right. I think that's going to do it for this one. This was Episode 9, Attack of the Ogres. If y'all want to see more, y'all know what to do. Hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, and we'll see you in the next one, everybody. Take care.